We got pieces of wood and we cut a bit of a noodle that you use in the swimming pool and we stood it up. We started off with a plain board like everyone else. And on either side of that box we had wood bottles to hold it more securely. After the ball went through a barricade, it hit a domino. We did four steps, we did knocking over. We did a thing called arc rolling. And then we got this blue cardboard. So we were planning to do a seesaw but that didn't work out because we couldn't get the balance right. So then we dropped the marble down the ramp. The ball went go to the side or the other side before it hits the dominoes. Down a ramp and slid and hit a ball. We bent it into like a cylinder and then we taped it with duct tape. And then we did another step called unwinding. So we had to turn that into dominoes instead. But we put it on the side so the marble wouldn't fall off the ramp. Rolled and went through a hole. And the and domino yep. would go onto that. And, and knock a little uh, toy car. A big Jenga piece that pushed our spinny thing. Holes in those boxes. Then, then we, we got, got a paddle pop, pop stick. stick until it hit a ball where there's two pieces of string and a marker and you wind it up. We thought that would be a bit of a challenge. Bring the other one up and the ball will roll and hit another line of dominoes. If it doesn't work, we can always change it up if it doesn't work. We did it 34 times, but we got it on our 35th time. I learned that sometimes our original plants don't always work. It taught me how to be more patient and persistent. I learned that by using simple materials and basic things, you can make something really cool.